anyway, where where do we go from here? Uh, talking about bad corporations, Warner Brothers is now erasing oh, games uh, as it plans to delist uh, Adult Swim published titles. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery is telling. <laughs> I like I like the the editorial art yeah. that they made here. It, it's uh, how would you describe this? The it's, the beginning of a Warner Bro- the end of a Warner Brothers cartoon. Both. It's the it's the beginning and end slate of a Warner Brothers cartoon, like the circle logo that that uh, Porky the Pig would be coming out yeah. of, but instead it's the just the valve yeah. logo <laughs> or the Steam logo. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery is telling developers it plans to start retiring games published by its Adult Swim games label. Uh, game makers who worked with the publisher tell Polygon at least three games are under threat of being removed from Steam and other digital stores with the fate of other games published by Adult Swim unclear. The media conglomerate's plan uh, plans removal of these games echoes cuts from its film and television business. Warner Brothers Discovery infamously mm. scrapped plans to release nearly complete movies Batgirl and Coyote vs. Acme and remove multiple series from its streaming services. If Warner Brothers does go through with this plan to delist Adult Swim games from Steam and digital console stores, 18 or more games could be affected. The Coyote vs. Acme thing boggles my mind. I mean, Batgirl also boggles my yeah. mind. But Coyote vs. Acme, you, we've, we're seeing stuff from that and it looks completely done. Yeah, it was. It was finished. It was finished years ago. And they've just been sitting on it. And rather than release it, they'd rather just shove it in a vault. No, they actually, they, they use the word delete. They would actually delete the movie from their archives. Why? I don't know. I, I guess they don't want to spend the, mud, the money marketing it. But then don't then. Just don't. It's a guess, just... guess what, motherfucker? <laughs> this is marketing the movie. By threatening to get rid of the movie, you have successfully marketed the movie and people now want to see this movie. But also, it's going to be worse just sitting in a vault. Just, yeah. just fucking release it. Just yeah. put it out there. I I forgot what it was, but like, I forgot how much money they made. Uh, I forgot what their like tax write-off was for Batgirl. It wasn't a lot. And apparently... Like it was a lot less than the profits of the Flash, you know. Now I I don't think the Batgirl movie was any good. <laughs> I, I I think that that probably wasn't a good movie. The Batgirl movie was supposed to be like a B level movie. It wasn't supposed to be like it wasn't supposed to be a theatrical release. It was supposed to be a streaming movie. Oh. It was supposed to be a lower tier streaming movie that you know had Michael Keaton as Batman. It had Brendan Fraser like at the peak of his comeback as the Michael main Keaton? villain. I didn't even know yeah, Michael it was Keaton Michael Keaton was ba- as Batman, and like the fu- some fucking guy who brought his ninety day fiance who now runs Warner Brothers is like, no, gone. That's dumb. I I try not to get like too personal with like you know the way Hollywood studio execs work because like they're on another level of idiocracy and whatnot and i try not to think but like something about david zasloff just pisses me off like i want to fight him (laughs) physically warner brothers has a lot of great ip that is just burning yeah there's just no they're not they have a lot of great ip that they don't yeah they don't know what to do with and the things that they do do with it are like just terrible yeah like a lot of l's like space jam 2 it's not a shitty movie. It's a harbinger of doom for like what they think they, they can get away with with their IP. I saw a clip today of Zack Snyder talking on the Joe Rogan podcast. Don't, don't, it, I don't, I don't it, want it. It was, no, it was Zack Snyder saying, Yeah, I like uh, how we can play around with, uh, I forgot what he said. We can play around with, with, stuff in the star wars universe and do whatever we want with it like i remember watching the original star wars and when luke enters the cantina and the walrus man approaches him like how do we know that that wasn't sexual (laughs) it's like what excuse me what the fuck do you mean he's like how do you know that the walrus man doesn't want to fuck luke (laughs) well he didn't say that but he did say that how do we know that wasn't that interaction wasn't sexual he's like now we can play with that and we can we can make it sexual 
<laughs> He's talking about how Rebel Moon is like a rated R Star yeah, Wars movie. Yeah, that that pot like I the clips from that like that literally hit me in the head. I was I was watching it. I was watching the clip, and then he goes, "How do we know that interaction wasn't sexual?" I was like, <laughs> "I I had a stroke. I choked up." Like that that podcast hurt my brain on <laughs> so many levels. So like. It, I don't understand how he is able to make movies. I me neither. Like who's giving him the money to to do this stuff? It, it be, like, I mean, they're making money, right? No, the, the movies aren't making money. No. Well, I don't know because Rebel Moon. Apparently, more people saw Rebel Moon than Barbie. Oh, according to him. According to him. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh God, I like Trump saying oh, everybody's coming to my my yeah. my, my my rally. Everybody's yeah, biggest rally. So many people in my rally. Oh my god! It's like it, nothing proved my theory more. Like he he doesn't he, he only focuses on the visual aesthetic and can't see past that to the actual text. His whole explanation why like why Batman kills. I did like, see that too. He said that Batman has to kill to stay relevant or something. It's yeah. It's it's a that's dumb. And B uh, clearly he like he only looked at the pictures in Dark Knight Returns because if he read the fucking book, it's very clear that he does not kill that mutant. The only reason why you know the police actually go after him towards the end is because they think he killed the Joker. Mm -hmm. So that it's made a very Wait, clear. Wait, does he not kill in the Dark Knight Returns? He doesn't kill in the Dark Knight oh, Returns. I thought he did. In the he Dark he gets close. He threatens. He uses a gun a couple of times, but he never That's actually. The thing. That's he never the actually, rule that he breaks. He never actually kills anybody. Because Batman's got the two rules. Yeah, and with, without those two rules, he's just a fucking guy. Yeah, and, and then at the end of the book, when after the Joker is you know dead, and he's about to reclaim Gotham, he breaks the gun in half, and he makes it explicitly clear: this is the weapon of the enemy. We will not use this. Mm -hmm. So, can, I don't know if can Zack Snyder read. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. So maybe we shouldn't make fun of he him. He plays a lot of Fortnite. Apparently, you don't need to read to play Fortnite. No, you don't. Yeah. You definitely don't. No, I didn't watch the whole podcast, but I no, saw me a neither. Of clips. I, I honestly could not. I couldn't sit through the five minute clips that people keep sending me. Yeah. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, what are we doing here? Warner Brothers plans no, to Warner potentially Brothers. pull Adult Swim games from Steam and PlayStation Store was first reported uh, by developer Owen Reedy, who released puzzle adventure games, small radios, big televisions through the label in 2016. Reedy said on Twitter that the game was being retired, quote unquote, by Epic Game by Adult Swim games. Um, he responded to the company's decision by making the PC version available to download for free from the studio's website. Uh, Polygon reached out to other developers who had worked with Adult Swim Games as publisher. Two studios responded to say that they'd received similar warnings from Warner Brothers Discovery, but they are still in the dark about what it means for their games. The pulp, uh, developer, Michael uh, Moriari, uh, who developed uh, Sound Dodger Plus through Adult Swim Games in 2013, told Polygon, who received the warning from Warner Brothers Discovery earlier this week, uh, about his game uh, could be removed from Steam within the next 60 days. Uh, uh, I don't know if you're delisting it or deleting it, uh, Moliarni uh, told Polygon in the email. I pleaded with the ref to transfer ownership to my company as I still retain all IP and game rights. I sent him a link to Steam's transfer page and explained clearly uh, that it takes literally three clicks to transfer ownership to me. He rejected my request. That's ridiculous. Uh, it was said that Warner Brothers Discovery representative said the decision to not transfer ownership back to its developer stems from logistical and resource constraints and the limited capacity of our team. One developer told Polygon um, that the current Adult Swim Games team consists of a skeleton crew. Uh, Molinari expressed frustration with Warner Brothers' plans to remove his game and others uh, would lead to over a decade of downloads, community guides, reviews, and patch notes suddenly vanishing. Uh, Warner Brothers Discovery informs Molinari um, that he is he's allowed to republish uh, Sound Dodger Plus on Steam, but that option presents its own issues. Doing so would erase all of the wish lists, uh, reviews, community guides, and forum discussions, along with not allowing new or uh, new or old owners of the game to compare achievements and trading cards. The other legal requirements for republishing the game um, 
is to remove any and all mention of Adult Swim games. Uh, Molinari asked for clarification and even uh, wants the credit sequences altered to remove the names of Adult Swim games team. Um, he's a huge supporter of game preservation, and this is a direct blow uh, to properly crediting people that worked on the game. Yeah. So I got to be honest, a lot of the Adult Swim games that they're delisting, never heard of them. Before. Right. Well, one of them is a recent backlog game. It's Duck Game. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Duck Game's being delisted? Yeah, Duck Duck Game's one of the games. Is there a list? Yeah. Give me, give me this list. Where's this I list? mean, you just go to like Adult, uh, adult Wait, Swim Games. all game? of the Adult Swim Games? I thought it was just some of the Adult Swim Games. I mean, it sounds like it's all of them. I thought it was just us. I mean, there's not a lot of Adult Swim Games on Steam. 18 more games could be affected. Okay, yeah. so right now it's not all of them. Right, right. But it, this, were, this article is this worried that is, it could be all of this them. This article is highlighting a few, a few specific ones, like small radios, uh, television, sound dodger. Um, there was one other one, fist puncher. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it could be Duck Game. It could be Surgeon Simulator. It could be all of them. Well, no, no, they, they, knowing Warner Brothers, it probably will be all of them. The th <laughs> I, I'm thinking they're going for the ones that aren't selling much. You know, and, and and things like Duck Game, they'd probably want to keep around because it's making at least a marginal amount of money. I don't know, man. I mean, th this company has shown clearly that it doesn't care about that. It will purge its archives of anything and everything at the whim of some nutcase who has no respect for, you know, the, the studio he runs. All to try and like, you know, try to save a penny or two somewhere. Yeah, I, look, it's not looking good for Adult Swim games, yeah. but right now, the only ones that are in dire, uh, uh, the, the only ones that are looking like they're going to be shut down are the ones that were mentioned in the article. Um, but if you want Duck Game, fucking go buy it, because yeah. you might not be able to buy it soon. Um, hey, Hailey, thank you for the $2. Y'all are awesome. Love the pod. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Surgeon Simulator was massive. Yes. Yeah, like, that's a game I don't think that... It would be fucking crazy if they just delete that. I, 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 Dude, I would not put it past them. They really should just transfer the ownership. There's no yeah. reason not to do that. 